So if a tree's fallen down in your woods, what you can do with it instead of just leaving it there, you can make a nice little bench to sit on and just some nice woodland furniture to build. And that's what we're gonna do today. Very simple tools, like I said, is all you really need. We've got just a hammer, two chisels, carpenter saw, and a plane. And this is the bare, the minimum of what you'd need to do this. A very simple process, very easy. So first thing I'm gonna do is carve out the seats. We're just gonna have two individual seats, and we're gonna, like I said, leave the moss on it so it just has that nice, natural feeling about it. Right now I'm just marking out the seats just so I've got a good idea of where I'm gonna chisel it off. So it's like natural upholstery, that moss. Yeah, you'll have a nice bit of cushioning on the sides for you to rest on. And... task just to forget that you're doing and just go off in your own little world. This is a fairly easy project to do, anyone can do this. I'm undertaking it and I have basic furniture making skills that I learned in high school. And it's really something that you can just put your own you know, mindset into. So you think it go about it your own way and create your own design really. You don't really need to have a structured knowledge on how to do it. Just basic understanding of tools. So that's one seat. Right, that's one seat, so all I've got to do now is, is just get a bit of sandpaper and get rid of all these scratches, a bit of these um, rough parts and smooth out these edges where we've still got a couple of lines and dips. I'll start from here to here on the second one. chainsaw to cut the log just to speed up the process but this can be done easily with hand tools. We're going to raise it so it's off the ground using again just bits of wood. This will help keep moisture from getting in through the bottom of it and also just make it at a much more comfortable height to sit. So all we're gonna do now is just cut a nice little 90 degree um, chunk out of there. And then when it lines up, we just sit it in underneath like that. The weight of the log will keep itself in place and it's good to go. You can also use treating equipment um, like lacquers or varnishes just to seal off the exposed areas to prevent rot from getting in. We don't even need this much. So tell me Tristan. Shoot. Jim just did with a chainsaw what you did in five minutes it took you hours to chisel those seats what's the point well with the chainsaw it can be quicker but it's, it's a lot more rougher and you can't get as much detail and you know it kind of takes the whole fun out of it i guess i mean you get a bit more of enjoyment if you're using hand tools whereas the chainsaw plus as well you 
you're never always going to have a chainsaw handy and they can break down and hand tools are always reliable. And is it like a meditation doing it with the Yeah, it kind of has a, has a certain peacefulness about it. You just get lost in it and off you go. <laughs> Listen to some music. All up took about 10, 10 hours, I think, roughly. 10 hours. Yeah, 10 hours, maybe a bit less, and you know, it wasn't that bad a thing, just to sit out in the sun. 10 hours of bliss. Yeah. <laughs> just relaxing and chiseling away. <laughs>